Hello everybody. I think it's Friday. Have you guys lost track of the days like I have? It's crazy. It's Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. So welcome. I'm sure lots of you are watching in the replay. That's totally fine too. Hopefully you're all surviving healthy and uh, staying home, right? Staying home, not going anywhere. Um, for us stampers, this is like a dream come true where we have to stay home. We can't go anywhere. We can't go to those meetings and those practices and running here and there. So it's kind of, kind of a, well, I wouldn't say nice excuse, but we'll make the best of it, right? Well, hello everybody. I see you guys jumping on. Good, good. I'm going to share this over to my other page and then I will get started. So how are you guys doing? How's everybody out there? Um, are you staying healthy? Let's see, I'm going to change this. Um, make sure I put it in the right place. Why can't I focus? Okay. I wonder if that's the kind of day we're going to have today where I can't focus. Hello, Pam. Good to see you. Yeah, happy weekend, which is kind of funny. I heard them saying, you know, on the Today Show, do you guys watch Hoda and Jenna? They were like, oh, TGIF. And I was thinking, it's, it's like the same day over and over again right now. The weekend doesn't mean anything. And around here, it's disgusting. We have rain storms coming for like the next five days. So I think it's kind of like God telling us, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to go anywhere which is what we all need to do, right? Hello, hello. All right, good. I'm glad you guys are here today. So today we're going to do the Witty Sism stamp set, which I don't even have in front of me. It's this one. And um, have you guys seen this one in the new, cat in the, well, it's not even the new catalog anymore. It's the January to June 2020 catalog. It's so funny. Um, I really like that one. Talk about it. Talk about amazing. And I didn't use it because I couldn't think of anything cute enough. I've seen some really cute things online. But we're going to use this um, stamp set. And this is actually, um, if you guys have never noticed right here, this is a means it's a million dollar achiever stamp set. So when you hit a million dollars in sales with Stampin' Up, you get to help design your own stamp set. Um, you work with an artist at Stampin' Up. And so this one is Lisa Fast's stamp set. And I love it. It's really good. Really, really good. Um, so that's what we're using today. Um, we're going to make three projects with it. But before we get started, oh, one thing I was going to say is, see how they wrote witty sisms with that dash? I, I have only typed that about 18 times today, and it's super weird. It autocorrects and doesn't want to do the dash. Super weird. But anyways, hopefully when I posted the live, it went through. Um, you guys also, my kids are here, and we have some... Um, one, using the internet, I'm not sure. So if it gets glitchy, you guys let me know and I'll kick them off and I'll tell them they have to they have to rough it for an hour without the internet. <laughs> um, okay, so let me tell you some things. Let's see, I'll flip around the camera in a second, but let me tell you about the Botanical Prints All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, this is April's tutorial bundle. In each month, there's 12 of us and we each design a project and then we combine them into this awesome PDF. And this time we're just we're not just doing all different stuff. Everybody is doing is using the same products for their tutorials. So in this one there's 12 botanical prints um tutorials. And if you don't know what bot botanical prints um product medley is, I'm going to show you real quick in your spring catalog on the page it's towards the back, page 61. Um, you can find the product medley here. This is kind of a new thing Stampin' Up! is doing. Um, it has the whole thing. It's like, um, I, I think of it as a kit, but it's a pick your own adventure kit because there's no set projects. There's nothing designed. It's all product that coordinates together. And so um, it's a little bit pricey. It's $70, but it has the dies, the stamps, the paper, the ribbon, the embellishments, the die cuts, like all this stuff. So you're getting everything. But anyway, um, that is what we used for all of these um, projects. And so there's 12 projects in here. And um, I give this for free with a $50 order. Anytime you order online, $50 or more, I email it to you. And I do it about once a month, sometimes I mean, not once a month, once a week. Sometimes I go a little bit longer. Um, but 
I email that to you for free. My team also gets them for free. You can also buy it in my PDF store for just $15. Um, one thing we did special this month is that we all did videos to go with our tutorial. Um, usually there's not videos that go with the tutorials, but this month we thought, okay, let's try this. And we all did a tutorial. I mean, a video tutorial to go with the written tutorial. So it's kind of a big bonus. So if you're interested in that, you can find the details on my blog. We just did a, a, a blog hop yesterday and it's at the bottom of today's post. Thanks, Robin. She says the projects are gorgeous. Oh, Robin, that's awesome. She says I ordered the suite based on the PDF. Robin's in my downline, so she got it for free. I'm happy to hear that, Robin. And here's one card. This isn't my project in the tutorial bundle. I can't find it. I was, you know, I always like to show you guys, I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. It's a cute little desktop post-it note holder. Um, and then we do a second project for the blog hop. So there's my card. Um, it almost feels like cheating when I create with this stuff because it's so easy because it all goes together. Um, so I kind of felt like this is really easy, but that's the point, right? Anyway, there's that. Check it out. All right, I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see. I want to talk to you a little bit about my classes to go for April. So hold on. Okay, close your eyes so you don't see up my nose or anything super weird. I'm not fancy. And hold on, don't look yet because now you're going to get motion sick. Um, so you guys probably saw my two classes to go this month. I announced them yesterday. Uh, one yesterday and one the day before. <laughs> and lucky us, both classes involve things that are on back order <laughs> oh but you know what tis the season um as we near the end of a catalog a lot of times things will start going on back order um and around chinese new year which was in january but this year we have the lovely covid19 virus which is just jacking up everything you guys i mean things coming from china are delayed so it just it is what it is and we're just, we just have to roll with it, right? I mean, <laughs> if we don't learn anything from this, it's that we need to just take a breath, be happy, and not get mad about things like first world problems, you know, like dies on back order. So with that being said, I'm going to show you my classes and then tell you the caveat on both of them. The timeless tropical class to go is the first one. Um, the deadline on this one, I have April 19th is the deadline to sign up and April 26th is my ship date. What I, use, what I do is I, once I close it on April 19th, I go and I order everything and I cut, pack, and do all that the following seven days. So it takes me about seven days turnaround to get it in the mail. So the dies are on back order. However, it says they're gonna be back April 20th. So I am pretty sure I'm gonna be able to meet my deadline on that. Fingers crossed, you never know. My poor people who did the honeybee class, some of you are still waiting for those dies. So we're just gonna cross our fingers and hope that we, that we can stick with that deadline. So this class to go is tropical and fun. It uses um, the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set and Dies. There's actually eight projects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I couldn't stop. Usually I only do six, but this one has eight. Um, you're gonna get a full pack of the Memories and More cards, um, as well as the twine, eight projects, and the bundle if you want it. Um, so you can click on the, um, let me turn that fan down. Looks like my, my phone is moving. You can click on the link on my blog to, to read all the details about it and then email me for the registration link. If you got my email yesterday, my um, newsletter, for lack of a better word, it has the direct link to register in it. I can send that link via email, but per Stampin' Up! Rules, I can't put those links right on my blog, okay? All right, so Timeless Tropical. There you go. Yes, there's a PDF only version if that's what you want. And that is an immediate download. The second class is our brand new ornate style, um, ornate garden suite. And I think I showed you guys um, last week that this was going to be the new April. Whoops, I got some things in here that don't need to be in here. Hold on. Take that out. Um, the new like April promotion, if you will. 
And Ornate Garden is a suite of products that are going to be in the new annual catalog coming out in June. And so Stampin' Up! has released it in April so we can all have something new and fresh, right, to, to play with in the spring. Gorgeous, there's two stamp sets. There's this one and this one, and then two dies, this one and this one, and they coordinate together. There's this crazy cute paper. We're going to use it today for Facebook Friday also. Embossing folder, ribbon, and the gilded gems, which I love. So, of course, I was like, yes, we are doing a class on this. So here it is, and what I did was, again, a bunch of projects. Um, I used the ornate thanks stamp set for the main six projects. Then I added in three more bonus tutorials in the PDF that use the ornate style. So you don't have to have both stamp sets to do the main projects, just this one and the matching dies, which are these, okay? Um, so something really weird happened yesterday. <laughs> this was released on April 1st. Yesterday was April 2nd. And all of a sudden, this was on back order till June. And I just had to laugh, you know, we're like, what the heck is happening? It just came out. So sometimes things glitch in the system and the computer will generate a day that's not correct. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it today. I'm going to check it again tomorrow. I checked it last night. The date was May 4th. So I thought, okay. The deadline on this class to ship is May 4th, so that would only put me back a couple of days um, for you guys to get it. But then today, they're not on back order anymore. They're on low inventory. <laughs> There's gremlins in the system, I don't know. So for those of you that have already put in your order for this, I immediately put in your order this morning for these so that whatever, I'll have those. So if you um, want this class to go, order soon. Um, I will put those orders in as I get them every few days. I'll put in another order to get the product so that we'll have them. Um, I usually do it all at one time to save on shipping, but I want to guarantee that you guys will get them. So um, anyways, you can, of course, there's two options. There's the option with the bundle there's the option without the bundle. Both options include ribbon and gilded gems and six cards, plus the PDF that has the three bonus tutorials on it. Um, and you can add the second bundle if you want, and I will pay the tax and shipping on that one for you if you wanna order it and add it to your class. And then it, there's no extra fee for shipping on that because I can put them all in the same um, flat rate envelope, okay? All right, so right now I have the date deadline. We have a whole month, April 27th, shipped by May 4th, fingers crossed. Um, if you order the bundle, we will be at the mercy of shipping and whatever's happening there. But anyways, that's that. We just got to roll with it. We just got to take a breath and roll with it. Okay. All right. We're down to prizes. You guys ready for prizes? Hello. Um, let me see. Um, Christine, I ordered the PDFs for the other day before I knew you were doing a class. Great projects. Thank you, Christine. And Christine, if you want the class to go, since you've already paid for the PDF, I can credit you that. I think we've done that before. With You and I have done that. Well, email me if you want that. Um, okay, I don't think I missed anything important. So prizes from last week. Let me clean off. I've got dimensional backs everywhere today. Um, prizes today, these two ladies were picked randomly um, for sharing the video. Thank you very much, ladies. Rita and Maria, um, please message me your addresses and I will get the Do the Impossible um, stamp sets out to you. Thank you so much for sharing my video on Facebook. I really do appreciate that. All right. This week I've got two really good prizes. How about a Dress to Impress bundle? stamp set and dies. Oh, and look, a second one. Two people will win the bundle. That's like $100 in product right there. So if you would like one of these, you can share the video and I will pick two winners next week during Facebook Friday. All right. Okay. Let me put this up here. Get that out of the way. Um, I started today working on next week's projects already. I like to work way ahead. Um, I think we're going to do the umbrella bundle next week. Do you guys have that yet? It's really cute. All right. So if you've never participated in Facebook Friday with me before, welcome. Thank you for joining me every Friday at two o'clock, 90% of the time. Sometimes we have to do it on another day because of, you know, kid stuff, but who knows now we're, we're all 
stuck in our houses. So it'll be every Friday, <laughs> um, two o'clock central. Um, if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, the blog post that comes up is today's uh, Facebook Friday blog post. And it has a PDF under the third photo. You click on it, you can save the video, I mean, save the PDF or print it. And it has the three projects we're gonna do. It has all the products listed that I use and the dimensions, uh, measurements for your card pieces, okay? That way you're not scribbling it down a post-it note, you're gonna get lost, um, or I you know, ha- can't tell you the wrong measurements, whatever, it's all here for you. So you can save it, print it, do whatever you want. Here are the three things I just told you, Tropical Oasis class, ornate garden class, botanical prints, tutorial, PDF, okay? Oh, and the other important thing, here it is right here. If you would like today's make and takes free in the mail next week, here's the host code. Um, As long as you put in a $35 order by Monday at midnight, I will cut you a make and take kit on Tuesday and get it out to you on Wednesday. Here are some of the past ones. Um, You will need the stamp set and ink and adhesive. I send you everything else that you'll need for the projects. This is a thank you tag. This is not part of your project. I always include a little thank you tag. Um, You get envelopes with your cards, of course, and any bits and pieces that you need to make your three projects, okay? So I'm watching on my iPad and it looks a little glitchy. Does it look glitchy to you guys? Bertha, she says, I really want that bundle. I want to win. All right, Bertha, share the video and I will draw winners next week. I, I always worry, like, does anybody not have this yet <laughs> with my prizes? But I know some of you don't have it yet, right? Um, okay, nope. Looks good for you guys? Okay, good. All right. Um, my middle child just got a brand new um, Nintendo Switch Lite, like literally like 15 minutes ago. So she's up there working on it, getting it set up. I know she's probably draining the Wi-Fi. Okay, so here's what we're making today. Three witticism projects. Um, one card, two 3Ds. And you'll notice that it's using this adorable designer series paper. This is the Ornate Garden DSP. I'm going to pull it out and show you since we've got nothing but time, right? Nothing but time. Um, This paper takes me back to the early 80s in my childhood bedroom. This paper right here, I swear, if my mom is on here, I swear this was my wallpaper. It just reminds me, the color palette, I don't know. This is my favorite piece of the whole paper. Isn't that cute? Um, and then we're gonna use this back side. I hated to use the back side because the front side's so pretty, but oh well, we're using it. Um, look how cute, just so cute. Daisies, um, sunflowers. It's got that terracotta tile color that I told you guys last week I never use, and now I've been using it nonstop. It's specialty designer series paper. You can see some of it has the foil back on it. Um, There it is, isn't it so cute? I swear, I had wallpaper just like that. Um, Mary Ann says, Erica, I just tried to download the sheet. When I tried, it was a mountain instruction sheet. All right, Mary Ann, try clicking somewhere else on those words. Sometimes it doesn't change the link on the whole sentence, but I will fix it as soon as I'm done on that if it's not the right, um, if it's not the right link today. <laughs> Kathy says, early 70s for me. Yes, yeah, so I was born in 76. So yeah, my this this is my bedroom from like early childhood. So like maybe, you know, 70, 78 to 85, I don't know. Anyways, very cute. And then even like this could be very elegant. You know, that's mint macaron with gold, that's gorgeous. And then this one is gold. You could totally color that with your blends. Okay, there's the paper. That is available in April. And let's get started. Okay, so is Pam on here? She's commented um, on my Insta stories today. She couldn't wait to find out what was in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And you guys, you know how I like to go find treats to match stamp sets. Well, I'm really limited. (laughs) I'm really limited because I am not, you know, obviously the grocery stores are ridiculous right now, picked over. Um, so 
Anyways, I'm not, I'm not getting as many creative things as I can, but this I actually bought, I think about a month ago. So I'm going to show you. And I found it at Walmart and I saw them when I was at Walmart two days ago. They're still there. Strawberry Twinkies. I mean, come on, right? Strawberry Twinkies. So I linked it. It's on Amazon too. If you don't want to go to the store, you can order it from Amazon. It's apparently considered essential because it's two-day shipping. <laughs> and uh, if you can't find strawberry Twinkies, you could just use regular Twinkies. I think they're probably exactly the same size, okay? Um, Joy got my sweet but have you been sewing face masks good for you joy my mom and i were going to sew face masks and then i totally bailed on her and she had to do it all by herself <laughs> i felt kind of bad and she was not happy with me but good for you because you know what they're saying today that we all should be wearing them when we go out that's the first time i've really heard that today how about we just not go out and then then we won't have to worry about it right that's easier said than done we gotta have food okay let's make the box first um i pre-scored the paper for some weird reason i don't ever do that but today i did um this piece of cardstock is six and a half by seven and a fourth um it's close to being a square so make sure when you put it on your simply scored which i have right here that you um take note of which side you're scoring on the four score lines go on the short side and the two score lines go on the long side and they're right here on the pdf okay so score your piece and then get your bone folder and burnish all those lines so you guys what are you doing about your hair and your nails i want to know like i'm good with my hair for at least through may I had just gotten it done but what about what about this I guess we take them off huh is that what we have to do we just have to sacrifice for the greater good I don't know again first world problems it's so dumb because you know there are people who are very sick and I'm worrying about my nails um sh here's the short side these score lines here I'm going to cut off those end rectangles um we down here in South Texas haven't had a huge um, account. What, what's the word I'm looking for? A huge amount of COVID cases yet. But today they announced that there was a nursing home here in town that had 69 cases. So that just kind of made me take pause and realize it's here. It's no longer far away. You know, it's 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 everywhere so we all have to really do our part it's 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 just frightening and i don't know i don't want to go anywhere obviously to get my hair and nails done because i need to stay home right all right so changing the subject i'm bouncing around here's your piece okay can you see it i just cut those out that's all i did one thing i didn't put on the supply list when i typed it up last night i forgot was this punch this is the Somebody tell me the name. I can never remember. It's not the triple corner punch, right? It's the, hmm, somebody had to tell, tell me last week what the name was too. Now I can't remember. Now, all right, let me show you what I did here on my box. I left these tabs long and I rounded them. But that, it's hard to get them in here like this. I mean, you can do it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to cut them short, if I want to leave them long. Just know I'll leave them long today. If yours, if you're having trouble closing your box, take these and cut them in half like that. And that will make it go in easier. Okay. Um, but I think what I will do is I will round them. Um, so here we are. Here's a skinny tab and these two on the side. I can see all the comments popping up and I know that if I look, I'm going to get super distracted. All right, why can't I get this? Is there something in there? Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Pretend like you didn't see me with my blonde moment using the wrong side of the punch. Uh, yes, blonde moment every day, all day. If you've never done a Facebook Live, let me just tell you. <laughs> it's like going to school in your underwear. You just never know what's going to happen. All right, we're going to fold these in like this okay see this is how this box is going to go so and i can't decide if i 
Yeah, let's just, mm. all right, we're gonna put adhesive on the outside of these four squares. And you know what, I have fast fuse, I'm still using it, but you guys don't, if you don't have fast fuse, you need to use um, Tombow or tear and tape on this, okay? Because snail will not hold it. Um, I'm seeing, I need a video on how to make a box to fit things how you do it. You're great. And I did a video like that a while, but it's been a couple of years, but you're right. I need to, I need to do that again. That's a great suggestion. Kayleen. Yes. Thank you for that suggestion because it really is. I'll show you. I have, a, I have a way of doing it. All right. So I'm folding those guys in. Remember I put adhesive on those and we're going to fold those up and then that's it. All right. So you can just fold those tabs and see that's what happens when they're long they don't want to go in there very well but i feel like it holds the box closed hmm look at that that's weird all right we're cutting them no we're cutting them cut them in half it just makes it easier all right let's try that again let's try it again oh you know what wait when you do that you also have to cut the corners off Gosh, so many things you have to do. What's really good, what really works well is if you leave these tabs, when you cut these tabs, if you leave them right here where they fold in, that's so much easier. And the reason you put tabs there is so that you don't have a big gap when you close it. All right, so, oh my gosh, did I score it wrong? Come on, there we go. All right, so there's our box. Hmm. Now, I did do clean recordings of these, so when you come back to make your box, you can click on the clean recording link on my blog, on today's post, I haven't updated them yet. Um, they will be live this evening. Um, that way you can see, <laughs> see me put the box together in a more coherent fashion, rather than all the chit chat and, you know fumbling. All right, so here's our cute 1970s wallpaper, strawberry shortcake paper, uh, designer series paper. You're going to need to cut five pieces, um, one piece for the top, and the measurements are on the PDF, and one piece on the top, then two pieces for the front and the back. Okay, there we go. Thanks, Joy. And yeah, lid attached is good, right? And then two on the sides. It just makes it so cute when you put paper all, designer series paper all over it. You can't necessarily make the box out of the designer series paper because it's too light, it's too flimsy. But you can cover the cardstock and then it looks like it's made out of the paper, the designer series paper, doesn't it? Okay, now let's make the tag. And we're going to do several things here with this. Um, we're using the really cute Thank You Very Much. My, I loved it. It was the first one I grabbed when I started working with this set. Thank you very much. You want to make sure your stamp's nice and clean first. We're going we're gonna to stamp it in several colors, okay? Um, the first thing we're going to do is Early Espresso Stamp and Write Marker. Now, the tr it's tricky, I want you guys to see. See how close that Y goes to the strawberry? So if you're gonna mask off, which is what I tried to do the first couple of times, it is very hard to cover up that strawberry completely and then ink it. So I decided, you know what, we're not gonna do that. We are going to just use Early Espresso Marker. That way we don't have to try to get in there um, because I'm cutting it all apart, okay? Cutting it all apart with early espresso, and then I'm going to stamp it on crumb cake ink. All right, I always want to put some breath on it. There we go. Okay, now um, I'm going to stamp my strawberry in Rococo Rose on Rococo Rose cardstock. Rococo Rose is not one of the colors in this paper stack, but it goes really nicely with it, okay? Um, with this piece in particular, you can see how 
it coordinates. And I, I, that's Calypso Coral. And I just didn't feel like a Calypso Coral strawberry, whoops, was right. So that's why I went with Rococo Rose. All right, so Old Olive ink on Old Olive cardstock. Now, you know it's coming. All my fussy cutter, fussy cutting haters, you're gonna hate this part. Thanks, Brandy. All right, now, cut like this. We're gonna just cut, let's cut around and cut all this extra stuff off, okay? On the green piece. On the green piece, we are just cutting out that stem. And if you have not had very good success with fussy cutting, make sure you have a little pair of scissors. It really does make a difference because if you're using a large pair of scissors, you can't really get in the nooks and crannies of the image, if that makes sense, okay? Um, the other thing is to just kind of stay on the outside of the line um, and use your left hand to turn the paper instead of turning the paper with your, or turning your scissors, turn the paper instead of your scissors. Sorry, I'm just seeing, I thought I heard somebody coming in the door. All right, now we're gonna cut out just the strawberry, cut off the extra cardstock, that way it won't be so cumbersome. And see how I just cut that off? We're not gonna worry about that. We're not gonna try to fussy cut that again because we've already done it. And we'll just cut it off even with the top of the strawberry because that little stem and leaf right here is gonna cover that up. Okay, now a little bit of glue, just a little bit. I may have gone a little bit too heavy with that, but that's all right. And oh, I can't pick up anything with these darn nails. All right, like that, there. Now this is called paper piecing where you cut it out of different colored pieces of paper. Isn't that so cute? If you're really patient, you can cut out a bunch of them and put them all over your card. Wouldn't that be cute? All right, so I have a um, scalloped stitched rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And you, I, you guys always ask me and I forget. This is the two and three fourths inch long one. I think maybe it's like the third biggest. Okay, now we can close this ugly mess right here and grab my little trimmer, whoa, grab my trimmer. And I'm just gonna cut these out, right? Just just around the words, if you will. Um, I always say in my tutorials, cut it out to the height and the width of the word. Okay, so you're just, just cutting it like that. Now, this one is a little bit trickier because that Y dips down. If you are really good, at fussy cutting, you could do your scissors. You guys, I'm sure you've seen it where they're cutting around the scripty font. I'm not, I've done it a few times and I'm not real good at that. So I'm just gonna do it like that, a rectangle. All right, let me get all these pieces out and we're gonna stack these up and we're gonna put it on our box. All right, so we've got our strawberry. <laughs> uh, Lisa says, or you could stamp it on white and color, then just fussy cut the whole berry. You could, but it wouldn't be as cute. You know what, you're right, absolutely. However, I was going for this look. I don't know, what do you call it? This look, um, paper piecing look, where it's tone on tone with the, the colored ink, same colored ink and same colored cardstock. But yes, that is definitely an option. All right, and then right there. See how it just blends, kind of blends into the tag? All right, now I will tell you, a little transparency here. After I got to this point of designing the project, I got stuck. I couldn't decide what else to do. I felt like it needed something else and it sat on my desk for three days and I just couldn't come up with anything else. So I decided just to leave it like that. Oh, and this one's in the center. Where's my other one? I do have another one over right here. I put. I guess I did both of them in the center. All right, I thought I had it over to the left side, but I guess not. All right, put that there in the center. And then, yeah, we gotta have a bow this week. We had no bows last week. Um, this is the Rococo Rose in color ribbon, um, and it's thick. 
and it's pretty stiff so it's not terribly easy to make a bow it's kind of bulky so what I like to do is just cut off the scalloped edge and use that as a bow so then you really have and so if you did this to all of your ribbon, you would have 20 yards instead of 10 yards. Um, and then you could use that middle part too as a ribbon. I like that little linen middle part. All right, and there we go. And those scallops do make it a little, all right, let's start over. The scallops do make it a little bit, um, what's the word, persnickety when you tie your bow. So you just kind of have to play around with it. Don't tie it too tight yet until you've got it and then pull it tight like that. All right, snip, snip. Oops, I did that one a little bit too short. Snip, snip, and we just need a glue dot. Right there and right there. Ta-da, there you go. Strawberry Twinkie gift box. <laughs> Strawberry Twinkies. Who knew there was such a thing? I hope you guys like that. And I hope you can find those strawberry Twinkies. Walmart, if, if my Walmart has it, that usually means your Walmart's gonna have it too. All right, let me clean up this little mess and we will get to our second project. Our second project is a fun one that I have actually done before in a class. And uh, as soon as I saw that cactus, I knew that I had to do something with a Sharpie. So, that's what I did. Um, you guys, do you love Sharpies as much as I love Sharpies? I love Sharpies. I think everybody loves Sharpies. So, this is, I actually sent, it didn't look like this, but at the back in December I did a training with my team and everybody who bought the kit for the training got a Sharpie in their kit and the little tag, I thought it was just cute. Everybody can use a new Sharpie at some point. Everybody likes new Sharpies. But I was thinking, especially those teachers, that they would love that little gift sitting on their desk. Wouldn't that be cute for them to come in and see? Aw, little Sharpie gift. Okay, let's make the holder first. So you're gonna need a one and a half by, mm, See, this is why I put it on the PDF because if I try to remember, I won't remember. One and a half by seven piece of that designer series paper. And there's that side. You could use that side if you want. It's so pretty. But I'm gonna use this because I wanted monochromatic. On the long on the long side, you're gonna score at one, one and a half, four, four and a half. Okay? Be careful when you score your designer series paper, your DSP. You will rip it easily. She wants to come in. Okay, come on, Pepper. My puppy wants to come in. Come on. She says, who is she talking to? All right, now score. you've scored those lines and you're gonna fold them in. I'm gonna show you just a second on the side. See how it's folded? Can you guys see that? You fold it in and down so that this is gonna be flat with a cardstock behind and this, this part is popped up. Okay, before we adhere that though, you have to take your half inch punch and punch right between the two score lines. Okay, right between those two score lines. Now get a one and a half by six piece of old olive and that's gonna be the backing. So let me pop it back up. I'm gonna put adhesive here and here and that's going to make it lie flat. Yeah, I'm using Tombow. What's happening? I, I, I'm starting to like Tombow, you guys. I'm starting to like it. All right, now I'm gonna lay that end to end and then take that one and match the end to end. Push that down like that. And now, can you see how that is? Does that make sense? And then, Sharpie, the larger part, larger section is at the top, okay? That way it'll sit in there like that. So fun. Okay, now, before I put the Sharpie in, let's let's do the bow, kind of going backwards here, but a about a three inch piece 
of the burlap ribbon. Put that, we're gonna fold it, make a V, and stapler right there. Okay, then we could put that in there like that. And let's do the bow. I'm kind of doing the last part in the middle. I don't know why. Take two, take a piece of linen thread, fold it in half. I love how it's curly on these new rounded bolts that they send the linen thread on. Thread on it's like curly and I think it's cute. It's kind of wild. And snip and snip and a glue dot right there. And that will cover our staple. Okay, now, there you go, except we're missing the cutest part. Let's make the tag. I have cut out ahead of time Mossy Meadow label. This is the Stitch So Sweetly Dies, the largest one. Then the next size down, I cut the same paper that we used over here, so we've got that. And then the second smallest Whisper White stitched circle. And where's my stamp? Right here. We're going to stamp that looking sharp in memento, right in the middle of our circle. Okay. Then, like Lisa suggested on our last project, let's just color it. We're going to, I'm going to use old olive. I'm going to do a light old olive. And. Pepper left. I guess she was like, "Mommy's talking to herself. I'm out of here." She's she's a uh, pretty good puppy, you guys. I'm taking the dark and I'm going over the lines here just to kind of create some dimension. And I'm going to go back with my light, just kind of blend it all together. She's a pretty good puppy, but she's not in the least interested in potty training. And I really have no idea. I need to watch some YouTube videos because. <laughs> I don't want her to ruin my carpet, and I'm afraid that's where we're going. All right, so dimensionals. We're going to layer it up with some dimensionals. Um, Joy says, I think that makes it look like the top of saguaro cactus, a little cactus here sticking out. Um, Joy, I love saguaro cactus. I was just in Arizona for spring break, and I am obsessed. My family is obsessed with saguaro cactus. As we drove through Phoenix, we couldn't stop saying, look at that one, look at that one, look at that one. I love them. They're so cool. All right, that in the middle. And then, last but not least, two more dimensionals. And that can go right there. Ta-da! Look, let's look at them all together. They're so cute. If you made a bunch of them, any of you, we're going to put them in like maybe everybody's little mailbox at school or at work. I love them. They're so fun. All right, good. I'm glad you guys like those. Those are good, easy, fun um, project to make when you are needing to mass produce, if you need to make a lot of something. And I think they're um, good for guys too. You know, sometimes the things we make are really girly, but I feel like even with a bow, that one, um, that one could be for a guy in my opinion. All right, last one. Let me grab it. Now this one is for my card makers out there, but this isn't just any old regular card. Why oh, no? It is a gift card holder in there. See right there? And this one actually has the gift card in it. So let me use this one. Like, Ta-da! So right now, if someone's having a baby, we obviously can't go see them, but we could send them a cute card with a gift card in it. All right, and that paper, I just thought that was such a like baby friendly print. So cute, mint macaron. The colors in here are mint macaron, terracotta tile, and I think it's Blushing Bride, but I'm not sure. But Blushing Bride is what we're using. <laughs> Sometimes on um, paper, they use varying shades of a color. Like it'll say Night of Navy, but it'll be a light blue. Um, and it's because it's a different shade of that color. So sometimes it's hard to tell. All right, so I've taken just a regular card base, a full sheet of cardstock, cut it in half at five and a half, score it in the middle at four and a fourth. So we've got a regular card front, card base. Then I'm gonna put the front 
and I'm, I want to cut off this section right here. So I'm going to cut down three inches from there. Um, okay, I got to make sure I do this right. Okay, I'm going to go this way. So from the top, I'm going to cut off three inches. So I'm laying the top edge of my card up here on my trimmer at three inches. And I'm going to use my trimmer. You can, there's a little line on your blade. And if you can get right on top of it, you can see your line match up with that score line that you have there. Okay. So that, and then you're going to cut it off here, um, matching, can you guys see, matching the score line um, in the gutter there. Okay. And then come down and you can stop right when you see that little line matching up with the three. Okay. And voila. Now, look, I didn't do a very good job. And if you don't do a very good job, just trim off some of that. That's happened to me all three times, but <laughs> I'm just not a precise stamper measurer. I'm just not precise. So, but that's all right. Look, now we've got it. Okay, so there's lots of pieces to this. Let me grab them all. Sorry, I'm reaching. It's all over here on this tray. Lots of pieces to this. Um, let's start on the inside. Here's the DSP. You're going to need two pieces of DSP. Again, look at the... Um, PDF, all those measurements are here, okay? Um, so this first part, the bigger piece of DSP goes up here at the top. And then we've got a smaller piece of white. This is for you to write your greeting or whatever. Congratulations, blah, 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 all that. Then I've got a little piece, a smaller piece of DSP. See how it's not it does, it's not supposed to be the full size here because you're going to put that gift card in there. Um, so you kind of, it's about half of what that is. It's creating a little pocket. I'm going to take my one inch punch and cut half of a one inch circle to make a little notch. And then again, here I'm using Tombow because I need my adhesive line to be pretty thin around the edge so that that gift card will fit in there. If I was to use snail or tear and tape or whatever, it would probably be too wide, making the pocket too small for a gift card. All right, now we'll get that in there. Whoa. Did you see that? Pretend like you didn't see me slide that over. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we'll have to check on that pocket later and see if it's totally glued closed. Um, now, this paper, there was another, there was not another piece of DSP in this pack that I felt like coordinated enough for me here. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I pulled out the mint macaron in, um, DSP. This is in the subtles pack. The, yes, this is on back order. I'm sorry, but let me tell you that those Family, color family DSP packs come in so handy. Whenever you need a coordinating piece of paper to go with something like this, you look to see what the colors are on your paper, then you go over to your pack and you pull out that color. So I just pulled out mint macaron, of course, the gingham was my first choice, and cut it so that it will coordinate, okay? Now notice, one thing I did, this piece to fit here probably needs to be two and a fourth. However, those pieces are three by three. And if you cut it at two inches, you're gonna be able to get three of them out of one piece. If you cut two and a fourth, you're only gonna be able to get two. And you can get away with a two inch one because look, we're gonna cover it up. <gasps> All right. See, I'm always looking out for you, trying to help you save paper. And I always have to think, okay, if I'm gonna cut 20 of these, for free Facebook Friday make and takes to mail out. Do I have enough paper? And how many pieces can I get out of <laughs> one of one piece? All right, so this is a mint macaron scallop border um, from the seasonal layers dies. And I just put that across like that. Then we've got some other pieces here. We've got, um, this is Blushing Bride and this is Flirty Flamingo and they are both from the Be Mine Stitched Heart dies. But let's make our cute little tag first before we put it all together. Now you guys think about this gift card holder and how you could use other stamps to, to make a gift card holder this way. 
um, you know, you could do a birthday, you could do Christmas, whatever. Um, just remember that it's just a card base where we've cut out a three inch section on the front, okay? So think about that not just as a baby card. All right, so the little carriage, I've got my mint macaron stamp and blends, and I'm gonna color first in light mint macaron. And these little scallops here needed to stay white, so I'm gonna be very careful and go around them. And color all that in. Mint macaron, I know that some of you love it. And I'm gonna say it is not one of my favorites. But here, it looks good with these pinks for sure. Okay, I don't know. Some people are crazy for mint macaron. And I'm just like, meh. I would much rather have lovely lipstick or gumball green or, you know, what was that one we had? Concord grape. Does anybody remember that color? I like the brights, the bolds. This was an in color, right? Yeah, this was an in color. I do remember that now. This was an in color and then they moved it over to our core colors. So what I just did there, I took the dark and went under the scallops and around the edge and behind the wheels just to kind of give it a little more, a little more dimension. Now, as far as um, stamp and blends that matches paper, remember this is Tangerine Tango and we don't have a Tangerine Tango um, blend, but look how closely Flirty Flamingo coordinates very well, right? good. Calypso Coral is even closer. So I got my light Calypso Coral and I'm going to color in that heart. I think Stampin' Up! decides like, oh, you know, Calypso Coral is close enough. We don't need to have Tangerine Tango. I mean, what did I call it? Tan did I call it Tangerine Tango? Terracotta Tile. <laughs> it's Terracotta Tile. Um, terracotta Tile is an in color. Tangerine Tango used to be an in color. But anyway, I think that's why we don't always have the markers in every color. Now, <clears throat> I just felt like it needed a little something, something. So I'm going to put a little wink of Stella on that heart. And we had, no, Tangerine Tango was not an in color. Tangelo Twist was an in color. My goodness, stamping up, I'm making it difficult on these old brains. I can't remember. Tangelo Twist was very similar to Tangerine Tango. Both of them are gone now. But terracotta tile <laughs> is very similar. All right, <clears throat> we've got a, what did I say? Blushing Bride Heart. And you know, I really had trouble with these projects this week. This one sat on my desk undone for a long time too. Could not finish it. There, let's see, is that, is that right? Maybe a little bit higher? Maybe a little bit higher. I, I don't know about you guys, but with everything going on, it's just, I guess just like emotionally, you know, I feel kind of sucked dry. I, I've been having a hard time designing things. Um, I've had a hard time focusing, getting things done. Do you guys feel like that? I can't, I don't know. I just, ugh, I can't, I just can't finish things. I don't know. All right, there we have it. Dimensionals and all that. And last but not least, this ribbon that I have not used at all because it's mint macaron. <laughs> But it looks good here. I like it here. This is called textile ribbon. I had to look it up. I didn't even know what it's called. Um, textile ribbon. We've never had one that's called textile ribbon. It's um, kind of like a matte finish. I do like the way it feels. And I would like it in other colors. And boom, we're done. How cute. Now, I don't have any friends who are pregnant, but hey, you know, they say in nine months from now, we're going to have a ton of people having babies. So I'm prepared for, for nine months from now for all the COVID babies that are born. Okay, you guys, I hope you've had fun today. Let's look at what we did. We made a baby gift card holder. We made a strawberry Twinkie box and we made a Sharpie gift. Oh, Belinda, that's so sweet. Yes, I'm glad I can offer an escape for you for a while. I know, I have really been trying to escape too, but yet I can't turn the news off. Every, I keep going back to the news. I've got to stop. I've just got to stop because it's, it's difficult to watch. All right, so you guys, if you want me to send you 
all three make and takes next week. Make sure you get in your online order, $35 minimum, by Monday at midnight using this host code. Um, you don't have to order witticisms. You don't have to order anything that I've used. But if you want the make and takes, you do have to use that host code. That's how I know you want the make and takes. Sometimes people don't want the make and takes and they order and they then they don't use the host code. That's how I know. Now, if your order is over $150, you guys, let's talk about that real quick. I like to point this out every few months because we forget. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code because right here, see where it says party sales? Well, we're nobody's hosting a party right now, right? So if your order is over $150, you earn stamp and rewards. So let's say your order is $150, you earn 10%. That means you've got 15 extra dollars to spend. And if you use a host code, you won't get that. I want you to get that free stuff if your order is over $150. I will see it and I will still send you the make and takes for free, okay? Um, the reason I use a host code, if you're curious, is that's how I replenish my cardstock and my ribbon and all that. So I leave a host code open for a few weeks and then I close it and I, like I'll order another pack of the So Saffron, I order another pack of the Blushing Bride. That way I replenish the cardstock from the projects that I sent you. Just FYI, in case you're wondering. I, uh, and, and I use it to buy those prizes too because I like to reward you guys. All right, that's it. We are done. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's five till. I feel like I talked forever. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, yeah, Deb, you could host an online party, of course. Um, that's, you know, that's how we're doing. We're having to do things these days, right? Online, everything is online. Um, let me know if you have questions, you guys. Um, please remember, be patient with me. I am here um, with three kids and a new puppy. <laughs> and sometimes I cannot, well, I, I'm not able to spend as much time as I normally do. I usually do this full time. Um, my hours are usually nine to five, really, in my office. Um, and that is not happening these days. So be patient with me. If you send me an email, it may take me a day or two to get back to you, but I will. Um, and hey, by the way, you guys, Facebook messages, I never see those for like five days and then it's, I'm super late. So if you really need me, please email me, okay? Okay, I think we're done. You guys stay safe. Please stay home and stay up this weekend and don't go out and get yourself exposed, okay? Have a great one. I'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys.